Good day Pisces and welcome to my channel. I'm Misha the Psychotic Psychedelic Gypsy and this is your weekly reading for November 13th to the 19th. If you're new here, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. I hope you're all doing well and I hope this reading resonates with you. Universe speak. Spirit's guide. What needs to be known? What lessons need to be learned? Ten of Hearts. Nine of Spades. Eight of Clubs. And the two of clubs. Okay, so your general energy this week is the two of clubs. Uh, waiting delays, both in business and in love. I mean, it can be either one or the other, or it can be both. Um, and the thing is, is that all you can do is plan and prepare. You know, plan for how you're going to handle it if it goes wrong, how you're going to handle it if it goes right, whatever it is, love or business. Um, prepare for what kind of outcome may come, good, bad, ugly, whatever. Uh, just don't, um, just make sure to, to do this, plan and prepare, and then kind of just set it off to the side. Don't sit there and linger on all the bad things or whatever. Uh, plan, prepare, and then move on. Uh, that's the way to do it because the thing is, is that you can't do anything else sitting there worrying uh, if things are going to go good or if things are going to go bad that's not going to help you at all and that could really you know screw up your week for you because this is going to be something you're going to battle all week long is is dealing with the fact that you're waiting on a delay and uh, yeah so you need to just plan prepare and move on that's all there is to it at the beginning of the week happiness abundance success you're going to be very satisfied at the beginning of the week um so i mean try to i would i would try to hold on to that as as much as you can throughout the whole week just kind of focus on this so you're not focused on the waiting and delays so much uh focus on this happiness that you're getting at the beginning of the week that's what i would do uh is to just keep reminding yourself how blessed you are for these things that happened at the beginning of the week and not focused on what may or may not happen later on uh, when it comes to love or business. In the middle of the week, there's going to be a, a death. Now, this can be the death of a person. Yes, it can be. But most of the time, it is the death of something. Uh, the death of an idea, the death of a job, the death of a relationship. That's what this, this is about. But the thing is, is here... The card speaks about how the end is not bad because whatever this is that's dying uh, has caused you fear, worry, nightmares, and problems. And again, that's like what you need to focus on is that, yes, this might be, it might hurt, it might cause emotional problems, but uh, it is also going to release you from a lot of bad things, you know, so that's another thing to look at. You know, when you're looking at the happiness, abundance, and success as a way of seeing how blessed you are, I would also look at this as um, something that needed to happen, something that should have happened to, in order to relieve you of other things, and that's also a blessing. Uh, just more things for you to focus on rather than the waiting and delay. At the end of the week, this might be the end where your waiting and delay ends. Um, it might. Uh, you're going to be compromising with somebody. Um, and it can be in love. It can be with, you know, uh, a lover or whatever. Or it can be business. It can be either one. It can be even a friend or a family member uh, that you're making a compromise with. It's neither good or bad, but you need to be aware and make sure that you don't get the short end of the stick. And also note that the person that's giving you the short end of the stick, they may or may not know that they're giving you the short end of the stick. So the best thing to do is to approach them calmly. Don't approach them aggressively. That's just, that would just make things worse, you know. Uh, approach them calmly about the subject matter. 
um, show them how you're getting the short end of the stick and you know most of the time the person's going to go oh I didn't realize that and they'll you know reciprocate with you and you guys can come to a uh, a really even compromise. I mean, every once in a while, you're going to get that one person that did mean to give you the short end of the stick, and a lot of times those people will argue with you about it. Um, but either way, you know, uh, keep to your guns and uh, you know, don't don't allow it. Don't don't accept you know the short end of the stick. You uh, you go ahead and you you get the compromise that you want. You know, so yeah. Uh, plan and prepare. Don't 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 sit there and think about it all the time. Uh, prepare for some happiness, success, and abundance, which should be an anchor for you to look back on, uh, knowing that you're blessed instead of you know uh, thinking about the waiting and delays. You know, uh, the death of something is coming, but it's also going to relieve you of a lot of a lot of things, a lot of bad things. And uh, yeah, don't get the short end of the stick and a compromise at the end of the week. So let's go ahead and see if the tarot cards have anything more to say. Universe speak. Spirit's guide. What needs to be known? What lessons need to be learned? Mm. Okay. Well, you got the Seven of Swords. So... There's a thief, liar, a cheat, and that might be what part of this death is. And it could be this compromised person, this person you're compromising with. Either way, you need to disarm them. You need to, uh, and you might not be honest with yourself about this person. Um, you know, the, you might know that they're a thief, liar, a cheat, but perhaps you care about them too much or you have some kind of feelings towards them that stops you and prevents you from you know, being honest with yourself about them, but you really need to, this person, they're not doing you any good, and, and now I kind of feel like this is the person you're compromising with, uh, I feel like they know that they're giving you a short end of the stick, but, but, still approach calmly, you know, don't give in, don't become, you know, don't lower your standards, you know, while you're confronting them, uh, all you need to do is you just need to disarm them, come to the compromise and then I would say uh, kind of kick them to the curb in your life you know because they're just they're not going to um, they're just not going to do you any good that's all there is to it so yeah there you go uh, I hope this resonated if it did hit that like button and if you would please comment share and subscribe I hope to see you back here next week and until then stay safe stay mindful and stay healthy